Hello everybody, I am live, about to bring you another workout right now. And as you guys start getting on and saying hello, I actually still have to set up a little bit. Uh, making sure that you guys can see what's behind me. I have, I think that'll be okay. So I've got a pretty intense workout for you guys today, as always. I asked you last night uh, what you guys wanted to do, and you, I, I tried to, everyone had different ideas, different things they wanted to do, but the number one thing was they wanted to keep it around 30 minutes. So this is gonna be about a 30 minute workout. It might go a little bit longer, because I'm talking right now, I'm actually gonna put you through a little bit of a warm up so that everybody can get the equipment ready that you need, um, and that you guys can just kind of you know, everybody catch up and get up here. And if you wanna do the warm up with me, you can. So this is what you're gonna to need today. I have a step or a box, whatever you wanna call it. Um, you're gonna need a chair, so go get one. Oh, wait a second, see what else you need. I've got a my sandbag that I'm using. You can alternate it with some weights if you don't have a sandbag. And I also have weights. Um, we're gonna be doing some man makers today. Yes! So whatever weight, you do man makers with go grab them okay I'm gonna hang on just another couple minutes and warm up while uh, you guys get set up I just threw a few sizes of weights over there if you see a bunch of different weights you know don't don't get too excited we're also gonna do that exercise that I showed you guys in a video where I was down in a squat on my tippy toes and I was doing a front raise like this so you might want to grab lighter weights than uh, what you would do with man makers, but you don't have to use weight at all. So just remember if you don't have something don't panic We'll all I'll figure it. I'll show some different alternatives. So let's see what you guys are saying Watching the preview you'll do it later. What's up and Angie girl looking good. Thank you um, And also Stephanie happy birthday I don't know if you're watching this live or you're gonna watch it later, but yesterday when I was shooting the, hey, do you want a workout video, Stephanie said, hey, it's my birthday. So shout out to you, girl. So let's get going. I'm just gonna warm up. Everybody back up. You don't have to back up. I gotta back up. You don't wanna just see my head while I'm warming up. So let's just get started with some simple jumping jacks. Nice and easy. I like to get nice and loose. Don't keep your shoulders all stiff. Just relax. Relax. Those arms up. Breathe. I think I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit. Point it down, I'll do that in a minute. Now let's do some squats. Feet more than shoulder width apart. Squat down, push up quickly. So down. jumping jacks. I always like to take a couple of exercises and just go back and forth so that we just get, see right now we're doing some cardio, we're getting our shoulders involved, you gotta keep your core tight, so we're really doing cardio and upper body with this, so feel it in your calves, back to squats, now we're just isolating the legs and the glutes, just warming up, everybody this is your warm up, so I have my sandbag and some weights and one more thing I forgot to tell you I'm using this today if you don't have something you can hit like a couch cushion is what we used last time we're gonna do that exercise where we did a V up and I hit my feet along those you can do a couch cushion and also if you have one of those squishy med balls like those Yugi balls. Just so you know, you need to know this now, we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna be punching it, okay? So I want you to get something that you can do that with, all right? Just grab a cushion off the couch. You don't have to hit it too hard, don't be crazy. Especially if this is your first time with me, hello. All right, everybody, give me some high knees, come on. Make sure if you feel kind of tight, roll your ankles out a little bit. Keep going. High 
shining. It's gonna be a fun one today. The format is gonna be exactly like the last one where we've got a bunch of exercises, but I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna tell you what's next. Back to jumpy jacks. Now instead of squats, let's do some backward lunges. Backward lunge and stand. Don't forget to breathe. This is just your warm up, all right? If you guys are just catching up, this is just your warm up. Back to high knees. High knees are too hard, just run in place. Otherwise, get them up, and I don't mean dry like we do in workout. We're just loosening up right now. We're just loosening up. Go back to lunges, backward lunges. Notice anytime I lunge, I don't want just a backward step, okay? I want you guys to step back and drop your back knee and together. Now, let's get the arms a little warmed up. So if you have a mat or not somewhere nice to lay down on from push-up position, you're gonna lay down and get up. Lay all the way down. I'm not doing push-ups. Not yet. Oh, you just wait. You wait for this workout. I'm already shaking my head. Ugh. Now hold it at the top and bring your knee. So you're tapping your toe forward. Your knee is going toward your wrist. You don't have to roll forward. Just slight movements like a mountain climber, but we're just tapping. Getting your triceps nice and, nice and warm. All right, back on your feet. Let's stretch it out a little bit. If you guys would like to warm up a little bit more, be my guest, you can come back to this, no problem. But I'm gonna grab my foot and I'm gonna give it a pull. But now, what I want you to do is line your knees up. So now my knees are lined up and you wanna put your knees together. Try to put them together. We're all lined up. Now push your hips forward. I want you to get a really good stretch in your quad and we're gonna switch. Switch feet. See already I'm just kinda of pulling, but then I'm gonna make sure that my knees line up. I'm gonna push my knees together now and I'm going to push my hips forward and hold. Now, put your foot down, feet together, bend over for a good stretch. I'm doing this warm up to get all you guys on board and also to go and make sure you can get the equipment that you need. Keep stretching. You guys can release it by standing up and then go back down so I want to make sure you guys have everything you need before we start. Bench, a sandbag, some weights, we're doing man makers and we're also doing front raises and a pad that you can hit your feet on, all right? Here we go. One step to the side into a lunge. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix my camera. I'm gonna aim it down a little bit more. Other side, drop your hips to go into a deeper stretch. Let's do it one more time. And one more time, back to the center and down. How are you guys doing? Way to start off the week with a nice tough workout. One arm across your body and pull. We need a shoulder stretch. When you're ready, take that same arm, put it over, grab your elbow and pull. So important to warm up, you guys. If you haven't done it before the workout, you better be doing it right now. Go grab your stuff and go. Now keep pulling so you get a side stretch. 
Next arm, cross your body. Give it a pull, make sure you're pulling that elbow toward you. Now take that arm, put it up and over, like you're patting yourself on the back. That's what we tell the kids. Pull your elbow. And then keep pulling for a nice stretch. All right, I'm gonna aim this camera down a little bit. Coming in, I'm coming in close. Good morning, people. And then we are going to get started with the workout. There we go, I feel like that's better. All right. So, can I see your guys' comments? Let's see, we're going back. What's up, everybody? Hi, Lana. What's up, Nicole? Um, you're watching the preview. Yes, we're doing Man Makers today. All right, I'll read these later, we gotta go. All right, so don't worry about setting a timer. I have one set, you guys can just listen to mine. The first exercise we are going to do is going to be on that box. So get your box ready. And get your weights that you're gonna do man makers with. Oh yes, this is happening. Someone told me about these today. And forgive me, I believe her name is Maria. Um, to do man makers, but elevated. So let's make sure. Yep, that's how it's gonna go down. <laughs> awesome. Okay, um, I grabbed the wrong timer. Hold on. Wrong timer. Okay, I have it. Every exercise that we do is going to be a solid minute. You're only going to have 10 seconds to rest in between. Oh, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, God. All right, so hands on your weights. Get ready to jump your feet back onto the onto the box. Be careful. One push up. Bro. One push up. Bro. <laughs> Those are not easy. Now you're gonna squat and press. Do it again. I think you see it's the first time I've done these. Push up. Bro. Push up. Bro. Jump down into a squat, clean it, press it. I bet if I had a number, it'd be harder. If these are too challenging, you are not elevating them. And then someone said they had problems with their wrists. You can do a curl and then you can go down and up and a curl, but otherwise, we just did those. There we go. All right, number two. We're doing a squat, a Bulgarian split squat. One foot here, and we're going down. Okay, put that, put that back foot on the box. Now here's the thing. If you wanna use weight, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But this is the trick with these. Go deep and then explode up, okay? Deep down, explode. This isn't gonna do a whole lot, okay? Go down, up, explode. I'm holding a 15 pound weight. Go down deep, explode up. Now we're gonna switch. Ready? Bend that knee. Deep, push up hard. I'm losing my balance. Make sure you balance it out. Don't be in a hurry and start falling all over the place. Go 
down deep, explode. Keep all that weight on that front heel. struggling that there was someone I talked to with wrist you're not doing push-ups today keep your weights nearby and you can do some curls you can do some shoulder presses instead of a burpee but you can still do the jump lunges right push up jump forward one two done from your knees. From here, roll forward, slide up and down, put it back. Wrist issues, you're on your back. Just give me some sit-ups. We're working the abs. From this point of view, we are rolling forward, up, down, back. So your same side, knee to wrist. Drive that knee as high as it'll go. Slide it up your arm and back down. Ooh. What are we at? Five seconds, come on. Hands should be under your shoulders. All right, now we are number six. Okay, so you can use your weights or your sandbag. I'm putting my sandbag, 40 pounds, and I wanna work the butt. So we are going to squat and kick. I want you to kick your heel as hard as you can. Kick that leg. Squat, kick. Contract your glutes and try to hold it there as long as you can. Want to get up close and personal? Hey! Squat, kick. You can carry weight. You can do this without any weight at all up to you but that squat should be deep and those kicks should be hard kick contract your glutes all right next exercise toe tap get some cardio in I've done toe taps on my box but getting my feet up that high I don't feel like I go fast, so I'm just gonna do them on my bag so I can have quick feet. If you don't have anything, it's all body weight for you today, just give me high knees. Come 
five, four, three, two, one. All right, plank kickups. You need nothing, just your body weight. Get in the push up position. Hands under your shoulders. Kick them up. If you can, hold it at the top for a second, get it there. I'm looking for a powerful kick. That's what I'm looking for. Keep your body flat. Don't do this. Okay, keep it flat. 30 seconds. Powerful kick, come on, kick it. Drop to your knees as well. Straight leg, kick it out. On that same line of kicking, now you need your box. Get your box. We are going to dip and kick. So we are down kick, down, kick. So it's almost a double dip, down, kick. You're going down into a dip and then kicking in another dip. So it's down, kick, down, kick. Holy mastacholi. All right, there are other alternatives to this. You can also kick each time, but the only problem on a box is you're not going very deep. That's why I like to dip, or you can dip, and then kick, dip, kick. So I'm not kicking my leg very hard. I'm just putting my leg up. I'm trying to have to get off balance a little bit. Number 10, weighted punches. I have eight pounds in my hands and we're punching. So punch. Grab some heavier weights. If your shoulders are not feeling right now, your weight is too light. So get in position and start punching. Keep your hands at eye level. If you have a mirror in front of you, Punch that person in the face. If your weights are not hurting your arms right now, they are too light. Double up or do this exercise in another workout and make sure you have heavier weights that time. doing those tippy toe front raises that you saw me do yesterday from Carmel Rodriguez on her Instagram page. I love these. You're going to hold your weights, go down into a squat, get on your tippy toes if you can. Otherwise, just stay comfortably in a squat. You're going to get up on your tippy toes, two front raises, one, it's all about balance, two, now do a 180. If you have bad knees, I do not recommend this exercise for you and you should find an alternative. Give me straight squats or just stand and do front raises, okay? Oh wait, there's the balance. Gymnasts and dancers can probably do this with ease. I was neither, so you get the, the, athlete, the athletic version. Ugh. Not that they're not athletes. What I meant was like, we did anything but dancing and gymnastics. All right. This is going to be three knee hugs. 
hugs, three V-ups. So, one, two, three, now three V-ups. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, I'm trying to touch under my shoes. One, two, three, and then straighten it out for three B ups. One, two, three. Oh my God. 10 seconds left. Come on. Oh. Okay. Next, we're doing sumo squats. Grab your stand bag or your weights. If you are just joining me today, you are not doing any weight at all. Squat, just go to one side and get that knee toward your elbow. If you want, for a modification, you can squat, stand up, and knee. But this is a lot harder to stay here and just bring your knee up. Yes, it is. Holy crap. Thirteen seconds. I'm going to go all the way without dropping my bag. Oh, my God. Come on. Holy moly. All right. Now grab that pad. We're gonna do double punches. Put it in front of you. Two hands. They're gonna hit it. It's forcing you to use your core. They're going to feel it in your abs. Hands high, slow them down. Be careful on your knees. Make sure what you're hitting is not too soft to where you're hitting the floor. If you are struggling with this, give me a different ab exercise. Give me crunches, give me bicycle. This is something different to get your abs involved. timer. All right, we're back to toe taps. I want to throw those in there again. I'll just do one. This is like active rest. The next exercise is going to be tough for your legs. Be ready. Grab your sandbag after this. Five seconds. Uh. Come on. Thirteen seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, low cleans. You need your stand back for this. use kettlebells if you're using those today grab these handles these handles right here start on the ground and you're gonna use your legs only here's your exercise if I didn't have this it would watch my body I'm just going up and down on my legs 
with 40 pounds. Yay. We're going back to those elevated man makers. I'm repeating a couple of things. Here we go. Grab your weights. Hit your box. Hands on the ground. Jump your feet back. Push up. Row. Push up. Row. Jump down, clean, press, back down. Remember the modification if you're not doing them like this. You can do your mat makers on the ground. You can do one push up and no, and two rows. Push ups from your knees, up to you. I'm always gonna show you the most advanced. yesterday too by the way apparently my legs don't like them <clears throat> oh. Oh. now we're doing some abs V up with the smack down Tombstone, couch cushion, whatever you have. Put it over your head and get up. Push. Smack it with your feet. Push. Push. Try not to put your feet on the ground. Push. Push. If you don't have anything at all, that's okay. Get at the top, smack your feet. I don't want it to just be a touch. I want you to hit it. Ten seconds. If you are doing this right now, we are sweating together. Oh my God, last exercise. I did this in another video recently. Remember the fall down burpee? Fall down push up? Someone suggested I do a push up with a clap. So that's what we're doing. Ready? Fall down, clap, jump forward, 180 jump tuck. Here's your modification. You are one push up walking your hands out, one push up, or from your knees. You can jump forward. You can do the one touch, 180 if you can. Otherwise, just turn around. All right, there's your mod. Oh my God. 
Don't go anywhere. Hold on. Stop beeping. Oh my God. You're really beeping. All right. So I have an, an exercise or a drill for you to do with your arms. If you guys want to get some shredded arms, stay with me right now. Holy cow. Okay, so remember the last workout that we did? I was doing two exercises in a row. We would do one, do one, keep going, and then I would say switch, we'll do the other one. We're gonna do that again, but with exercises for your arms and shoulders. So here we go, get into push-up position. And <laughs> give me mountain climbers. Okay, we don't even need a timer. Ready? I don't even think I need that. Mountain climbers, go. When I yell push-ups, you're gonna keep going, keep going. Your push-ups are going to be wide, standard, diamond. Keep going. And I'll possibly be doing these from my knees. Don't be afraid to do them from your knees. Try, always try, number one. Always try from your toes. All right, push-ups. Start with a standard push-up, go. One push-up, wide hands, and do a push-up. Now we're back to standard. Now a diamond. I mean, put your hands together like that and do a push-up. Keep going until I say back to mountain climbers. Oh yeah, these are from my knees today. Mountain climbers, go. Push-ups, go. Diamond, standard, wide. Back to standard, back to diamond. And back to mountain climbers, go. Holy cow. Keep going. Push ups, last set. Wide, standard, diamond. Standard, come on, a couple more push ups. Wide. Back to standard, come on. Done. Time. Time. I've got more for you. Take a sip of water, stretch it out for one second, and get back to the mat. Stretch it out. We've got more arms to do. grab a little bit lighter because we're doing a burnout. I normally grab 15s. I'm going to start with 15s, but I have eights here. My other weights are in the garage. I'm going to start here. We're going to start with curls. Then we're going to get down on the ground and we are going to tap our hands together. I will show you what that's like. Start with curls. Ready? Go. Start with your heavy weights. Keep going. Push 
Put them down. Get into push-up position. And you're going to tap your hand to your hand. Hand to your hand. That's it. Right there. Don't put your butt in the air and do this. You have to be in push-up position. Perfect plank. And don't roll your hips. Don't roll from side to side. Keep everything straight and don't move anything but that hand. Wide feet if you have to for balance. Keep going. Keep those abs tight. Grab those weights. Give me those curls again. Heavy weights, come on. Come on, keep going. On the ground, back to the hand taps. Push up position. Tap your hands. One, two, come on, tap, tap. Flat body. Flat body. Put your butt down. I can see you. Put your butt down. Last one, come on, get up. Curls. Oh my God. Last hand taps, come on. Finish it out. I have two exercises for you left. And I have no clue if I'm gonna be able to get through them. Oh, we got to be able to do this together. Come on. Oh. oh my God. Come on, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, take a sip of water. We've got two more exercises to do. Oh, I'm dripping. It's a good thing. Keep drinking your water. Stretch it out. Oh my lord. Here we go. First exercise is a lay down, knee drive, alternating which knee drives forward. Then we're going to do down up. That's down up alternating which elbow goes down first. Ready, set, go.
We got one more in us. Let's go. Lay down, knee drive. Go. Last round, and we're done with the entire workout. Ugh. Come on. Let's go, Melissa. All right, down, down, up, up, go. Come on, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we're done. That was it. Oh my God. There's your workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Wow. Can't see you. I'm in the shade. I mean, in the sun. Hey. Oh my God. I hope you guys liked it. That was brutal. That was so hard. I never know what I'm getting myself into when I just start writing stuff down. But I really liked the format of the last live workout that we did so I did that one and hey if you guys take a picture of yourself either before during or after the workout and send it to me because I've been making those collages of all of you guys and your hard work and showing everybody that it pays off so awesome job I'm so happy that it's over I'm happy for those of you who are gonna do it today maybe tomorrow you already did your workout today whatever just give me a shout let me know how it went and uh, thank you for watching and let's do this again soon always anytime you guys can send me a request for the t different workouts that you like because I like changing it up a bit so that's it Mwah. see you later guys this, bye.